chill. I'm gonna try this again, man. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thanks for subscribing. Or should I say, please subscribe, like, and comment my stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try this recording again because this has got a problem with it. It doesn't seem to be recording. But let's give it another chance. See what happens. Um, I want to talk about something that's been the major drive in my life over the past 10 years. Um, it's regarding to my um, feature film, um, box set series. Um, we submitted our stuff to Amazon about a year ago. Uh, and I was kind of waiting for them to sort of get back to me to give me an answer, either yes or no, whether they want it or not, you know. So he was waiting, 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 thinking that, um, yeah, you know, they're considering it, they're, they're, they're reading it, you know, and um, as you do, you know, butterflies, you're nervous. So you're thinking, hang on a minute, these people haven't replied me yet. They must either be considering it or they must be, um, uh, you know, they must be left it aside and reading and thinking to invest in it or not. Either that or um, they're not ready at all. And um, so I, I um, had this anxiety, thinking, okay, they're either not ready or they're ready and they like it and they're just waiting for the right time. But anyway, so um, it turns out that they haven't even read it. Um, my producer, Lisa, she has an inside contact at Amazon. And um, basically, Amazon, at the time we submitted our script, our stuff to them, they had, um, they said um, they're not taking any more scripts in April. This was in April um, last year. So we had just, we had submitted the script on the same month that they had stopped taking scripts. So you can see the problem, or you can see um, where the anguish comes from. Because if we had submitted a script, month earlier or two months earlier who's to know what might happen by now who's to know whether or not they might have um, um, they might have um, taken it and you know um, made it but um, it isn't to be so all these years of waiting all that the whole whole year was just waiting for Amazon not to mention the previous fucking eight nine years of developing the, the script and developing it to a, a, a box set series, not to mention that. So, um, so you can you can see, imagine the frustration, the pain, uh, and 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 the the, the 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 constant feeling of in limbo, going somewhere then getting knocked back, going somewhere and getting knocked back. So what we then decided to do was um, go the American way. We're going to try go to HBO and NBC and other American um, production net production companies and see what they think because we know we've got a good product. We know that. I know about the product because I would not fight for this product if I knew that it wasn't worth it. It's come to the fact that I haven't even got a life anymore. Yeah, because I need to get this done. If I don't get it done, then all that I sacrificed was for nothing. So, do you know what I mean? Some people don't understand that. When you are a film producer, you think if you think differently because you know you're playing a long game. You don't play no short. You play a long game. The long game invariably means um, less risk, long term wise. A lot of risk, very short term wise, and a lot, the lot, of, the lot, of the risk you put in very uh, the short term wise can pay off a long term, or you can work your way around where you put a lot of risk in and you don't get nothing in the future. So I've, we, I've put in a lot of time, energy, um, money that I've lost, um, 
and it hasn't been easy. Believe me, it hasn't been easy. It, it cost me my dignity, some respect. But in the long run, I feel that it is worth it because you, you, you might not believe in it now. But when you um when you actually see this thing come off the screen, off the script, off the paper, you realise that what I've been fighting for was you. So um yeah, that's basically uh, my current state of play. Um, I do hope that some American company takes it on. Because content is more sought after. And the best content are even more sorted after. And we've got the best content. If not for the fact that In a way, I've procrastinated. In a way, I've waited because I'm sort of other people letting me down. If we had just, you know, sent it out to different places, we might have been talking differently today. But I didn't want to take that risk of my thing being everywhere. You never know who's reading. You never know who's reading your stuff or who's got your stuff and what they do to your stuff. Even now. I live in constant fear of people you know, plagiarizing my stuff. Constant fear. Um, because it, it has been out to places, you know, that I either read it and they love it, but they don't want to back it. Or they've read it and they say it needs a little twist, which is acceptable because after reading their reviews, after reading their feedback, I had to go and get a, a, a script writer that, that, that I felt that can um, edit the script. So they edited the script, they made it how I felt it should be. Twist, plots, changes, you know, and all the rest. And when you read the script now, when you read the, the box set, the pilot series, you know this thing's coming. It's fucking coming. And I don't want you to sound um, big headed or anything like that. There's a lot of stuff out there currently on TV, in cinema, or whatever platform it might be that just does not touch what I've got right now. The the, the whole content, the whole the the, the plot, the, the the character development, the the, the, the twist, the, the, the drama, the thriller, the, the you name it, this film has it in it. The box set is steadily built like Game of Thrones, you know? Family building, and all of a sudden family disarray because of um, some sectarian stuff. A lot of phone hacking issues, and um, trust me, it's a great read. And then there's not one person that has read this and, and told me that they, they don't like it. Each person that, that has read this script has said to me, shit man, this shit's got legs. Each person has either said, this thing's got legs, or, um, you know, great feedbacks. I've not had one negative feedback, not one. Um, even to the directors that I've sent it to, you know, they, 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 they obviously would not get on board with me because you know, they've got their stuff to do. You know, they're not, not going like, to beat me up. Some of them have, some of them haven't, you know, because they, you know, they don't want to like, you know, give me um, the leg up, which is fair enough. I do it the hard way, I do it my way because at the end of the day, I know I've got a good, I've got a good product, I've got good content. So, um, in saying all this, um, just want to thank Lisa uh, for sticking by me. Um, she's been through a lot. She's been through the mill. This woman, uh, she's got cancer. 
She's had cancer, she's beaten cancer, she's had it, she's had it again, she's going through operations and she's got uh, a few kids in the midst of all in, in, in the midst of all what she's going through. She doesn't complain. She don't say anything, she don't moan, she don't ask for anything, she don't you know, she don't cry. Oh look at me, look at me like most people cry about little things on TV, cry, cry, cry. But I've never seen someone cry. Despite what she's going through, you know, and she's part of the reason why I want this thing to happen because she's very special to me. She might not know it, but she's very special because she um she believed in me when others didn't. You know, she believed in me even her even in her despair. She believed in me when others, you know discounted me and just didn't give a fuck about me basically she believed yeah we got Selden here and we talk about John Stanley now he was a writer of um, The Last Seven um, which I was involved in some years back I was a film I was a producer of, of the film I was involved in that um, and which I regret being involved in that but what I did take out of that was the writer of that film so I got him to write uh, my film. Uh, he wrote it, um, which obviously needed uh, a bit more twist, which I got Lisa to um, to rewrite bits of, bits of it. Um, so both of these two writers um, have done a good job for me, and I can't praise them enough. Now it's the next level. Now we need to get to. We waited too long. Now we waited far too long. Um, not to have got anywhere, considering um, the, uh, the content, the content already out there. Now this poster you can see up there is the film. It's the very first poster. That's the film there. Uh, six six hundred pounds. That's what it's called. And the box set series is called The Cause. Um, so um, yeah, it's um, your Irish sectarian. Scottish Irish sectarian film uh, with a touch of sort of phone hacking. Um, inspired by rural events in Ireland. And it's about um, basically a, a gun racketeer who, um, after the peace agreement, wasn't quite happy with what was happening during that peace agreement. He still, he still wanted to keep his you know, racketeering going on. So he moved, he packs up his stuff and he emigrates to Scotland um, where he thought he should you know, carry on with his, um, you know, gun racketeering. Um, but it, it turns out that it ain't going to be so easy, you know, because he's stepping on other people's toes in, 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 um, in, our, in Scotland. Here's an Irishman um, who is um, based, a basic, a, a Catholic. He's now moved to um, an area in Scotland who are predominantly Protestants and of course Catholics. But he's moved to a Catholic area and he's stepping on toes of Protestants who are obviously got their thing coming, you know. So obviously he gets mixed up in their stuff and um, it causes all kinds of grief between him and his past and the press and phone, phone hacking, all kinds of stuff that was happening basically. Um, so I, I truly recommend when it comes out if you go and watch it because you won't regret watching my stuff. Because I only make stuff to please people, not for the money. Like obviously I don't like that. If it means I'm penniless at the end of my production, end of this project, for you to enjoy it this film, so be it. I will not make a film that I would not want to watch myself. So I, I barely got a little time for films nowadays. If I see a film that I like, listen, I'm watching it, I'm feeling it. I love when it tells a story that I can either relate to or, 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 or feel it or you know, get to talk about it later. So, so be it. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I can't quit now. Let me just 
Brighton. Right, folks. Oh, and please like, comment, subscribe. And if you like my stuff, uh, let me know. And I'll do more stuff like this for you. Keep you updated with what's going on with my film. And I'll keep you updated with other stuff like Arsenal, you know, my team, and um, Formula One. And other stuff, boxing, other stuff. Hey, say no. Fucking time. <laughs>